Hello guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today we are going to be taking our Fleet Star, which we left last time, uh, stuck on a hill here. Um, and we're going to be retrieving this stuck trailer over here. I think we have enough... Uh, enough uh, fuel to get that done. I'm actually thinking right now whether I should just uh, slide down the mountain or go the long way around. Uh, I don't really want to end up in a situation where I have to recover this and run here, run back here again. So let's let's just play safe. Let's go down the mountain uh, the normal way. This should be enough. And let's take this left and up here. Use this road. Actually, I think I can totally risk it here. Shouldn't be that bad of an idea. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's give that a shot. Let's just drop through here and end up here. But let's uh, mine our fuel consumption because I think we might just be on the limit. By the time we actually get there, we should be on, I don't know, 50 liters, maybe a bit less. And given how our recovery operations uh, <laughs> can end up uh, pretty bogged down, uh, I wouldn't really want to end up in a situation where the for the first time I would have to you know, get an extra truck out there to finish the job or at the very least refuel this. drive when we can. Nope, not the winch. I wanted the lights. And maybe I shouldn't really do this uh, this route at night, but you know what guys, we've uh, had a bit of time since we did the last uh, night episode and might as well uh, do one now just for the extra drama. Yeah, okay, for sure we need all wheel drive to get through this muddy section here. shift that and see if we can get through this. There we go. That linked uh, file icon again, but like you know this one. I think that's just the drop-off location for uh, things. Like we have that quest to put uh, I don't know, some concrete slabs or something over there. on uh, fuel usage for now. I actually thought we would be a lot more in the hole by this point. Easy there, Spike. 
actually, you know what? We haven't really named the trucks. We should probably name the trucks by this point. We've been calling them, like, you know, by their brand names, but... Uh, by this point, uh... They should have names. So what should uh, this be named? Fido, Spike... I don't know why I'm thinking dog names. <laughs> I guess most people would go down with, uh... You know, woman names for their cars. Like Angelina, Veronica, something like that. But I mean, just, just look at this thing. Does this thing look like a Veronica to you? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so I think this is the point where... Yeah, okay, let's see if I can get down there in one piece. This shouldn't be too terrible. I mean, it's steep, but it's not terrible. There we go. Masterful. And, okay, let's start looking for trees. Oh, wow. I mean, entirely wow. This is... You know, just looking at the thing, uh, you'd say this is ground, but this is not. This is just water everywhere. Yeah, no, this is definitely... I mean, every time I say definitely not gonna work, 30 minutes later, I end up actually doing it. <laughs> but we all know what this entails. I'm not sure if I want to do it like this, especially... Uh, because apparently I've, I came down, I thought this would be ground, and I came down exactly in the muddy thick of it. Uh, and I guess the way this should be done is, you know, just come here, via the road. I guess this would be an easier route than uh, what I'm trying to do here, especially since my tree cover ends like here and I'll actually physically have to... But, well, there's a lot of dead trees, I guess I could totally use the dead trees to get closer to where I need to go. Trees are great uh, anchor points. So, is this moving or am I entirely stuck? Uh, I think I'm entirely stuck. Okay, cool. Thankfully, we do have a lot of anchor points with the dead trees here, which gives us lots of flexibility. I really didn't want to do this to you guys again, but, well, apparently this is what we're doing. Uh, I mean, at this point, even the dead trees are actually a problem. What I'm actually hoping to do is get close enough so I can anchor the front to the, to the thing there. Once I do that, uh, I'll be able to grapple myself out a lot easier. Let's cancel that, and okay. Let's hope I don't tilt that over. That'd be really, really bad. Let's actually look at the area here. We will need to go up. I think that's the that's the exit on the left there. 
Uh, but I don't have any. I mean, I can maybe go beyond this truck, uh, the solid surface there. But I, I'm sure I don't have the anchoring ability. And I'm not tied to this yet. I think that should be my, my first goal, though. Just get myself uh, tied to this. What am I even anchoring to? Okay, so I can anchor myself to something beyond that. Winch myself out. This is terrible what I'm doing, but it but it gets the job done. And then I can uh, maybe do this. Myself to get into this spot here. I'm getting some traction, which is nice. Okay, let's see if I'm lucky. Okay, trailer is too far away, of course. this. Okay, that's attached. Okay, so at this point all that we need to do is just go straight and not run out of fuel. Easy peasy. I mean, this is a lot harder ground and this was definitely the way this should have been done than the muggy terrain we came through. automatic maybe you just need a bit of a speed here because the ground is solid enough Should get stuck on something I don't think so let's use that Stuck? Is the trailer stuck in something? Yeah, I think so. Okay, do we have any good options? I think we can do that. Just get us a bit out. Not where we want to go, to be honest. It will get us closer. is still holding under us mostly nope we're going down so let's go to low speed differential lock and see if we can inch ourselves out of this and we can there we go the rocks aren't helping at all We have any good anchor points here? I don't think so. I'm not seeing anything in front. Okay, anything uh, the trailer can anchor to that would help us? I mean, the back of the trailer can anchor to this. That would actually give us a bit of traction. Just getting us deeper. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did I catch on something? Yeah, well, for a, a 
tiny bit of second. Are we even moving? Not really. I mean, yeah, of course I have problems actually going upwards, so I'm trying to go to the side here. But what I'm actually fearing is that I will end up in uh, the muddy terrain again, and that's going to be really, really bad. So I still want to go up as much as I can. But yeah, this differential lock, all-wheel drive, active, full speed ahead. Isn't really full speeding ahead as much as I would want. For the 8 liters a minute consumption that I'm sucking down right now. I wonder if switching to auto would help because this is pretty solid terrain at this point minus whatever muddy the trader is in okay let's pinch ourselves yeah smacking that tree would not help me but oh wow we are actually doing this that's great These recovery operations are brutal as hell. And I'm not sure if that's just me being newbish and not using the correct trucks or the correct uh, upgrades for the trucks for this. But, well, I'm getting it done. Come on, let's fast forward this as much as we can. have to get up to the road here and we'll, we're golden well I, I say golden but we're at 90 liters left and we're still sucking down almost 10 liters a minute damn 11 I think we hit 11 for a moment there I mean I'm not even sure what's the problem right now this is solid ground this differential lock alone should at least give us a consistent uh, performance do I need to go up left or down I think I need to go up right I didn't even think this far ahead uh, so where's the trailer that we need stock trailer deliver to trailer park okay so I need to deliver it here okay cool I think that should be enough uh, fuel and once we move here, I think it's fine to switch back to full auto and take off your wheel drive. I mean, at this point, we're home free. Uh, actually, we're not home free. I think we still have a few mucky sections, but I think it should be fine. As long as this doesn't tip over because of reasons, it's pretty top heavy. Drag it through. Wow, Ooh, we actually stopped it for a second. Yes, we are saving, thank god. I mean, the game hasn't crashed on me by this point at all, but uh, I would really hate for it to crash right after we've done one of these things, right? Okay, let's take a wide berth here, let's don't snag that on anything. Let's not snag that on anything. Yeah, 
this is a pretty mucky terrain, so let's try and go to the left here. Let's not get bogged down, shall we? Like that Linkin Park song, uh, in the end doesn't really matter, got so far. Come on, you can do it. Just go through this, that's it. Easy does it. Let's cheat a bit with the winch. Drag down a few trees if we can. And then let's not crush the trees. Losing us all that advantage. But yeah, there we go. Now we'll see what's with the chain file icon thing. Okay, so show task. Okay. Okay, sure. Oh, relief workers. So what? There was a, there was a, some kind of a flood here. Oh, so that's why this is like this. Either way, we're level five now. At last, someone with a brain. Thank you. We've got. We'll take a look inside and see what we got. Oh, okay, so they lost something they even knew what exactly they lost. Okay, sure. Rewards. We got some cash and 240 um, XP. That just broke us up to level 5, which I think there was like a few things we cared about at level 5. But I don't exactly remember. I think tires, maybe? But for sure level 6 is the point where we actually really want to go. Uh, so what are we doing right now? We still have a bit of time available. Side repair, service spare parts and wooden planks. I don't think we have time to actually get planks and shove them up there at this point. Ground heavy truck, <laughs> not yet. I mean, we know where this is, and this is here, and this is a terrible turbo area, especially because you don't really have any anchor points of any way, shape, or form. I'm just waiting for, at the very least, tires for this truck before I actually give it a shot. Uh, same for drainage. Drainage again is exactly in the middle of these areas and I'm pretty sure uh, we should do this with the scout truck or well as the guys say an off-road truck and the only off-road truck we have available is like $30,000 away something like that. Mm. Can we do anything uh, any of the contracts quickly enough? Farming tools. River to farm, curtain side, trader. Okay, so we get this trader, that farm. Uh, you know, I guess we could. I mean, the garage. Uh, yeah, you know, let's do that. It's a quick job. Um, do we need to do anything up here at this point? Uh, I don't think so. So yeah, let's uh, let's do exactly that. Let's do an accept on this. Uh, let's uh, return this truck to the garage. Let's move out. I don't think we need anything for that, do we? Uh, it's just, uh, I guess we'll see right now, because it's marked. Need anything like uh, an upgrade, a saddle for the truck. Pick it up. So that trailer. What they wanted. There we go. Wobble wobble truck jelly. Uh, let's head out. Let's do a quick job with this. Delivering this to the farm. To that guy which uh, keeps losing uh, trucks and vehicles in swamps and then paying us to retrieve them. I've actually been doing some of the tougher <laughs> um, sections, tougher tasks by this point without being entirely as well prepared as I should have been.
now actually comparing this, which is like absolutely trivial. Uh, cargo delivery is definitely out of whack in regards to difficulty to what we've been doing so far. There we go. All former Matthews was singing your praises just now. A good deed is never lost in this town. Okay, sure, whatever you say, bud. Um, this was quicker than I thought it would be, so let's see if uh, we have anything else. Uh, no. With harvest. What's with harvest? A nearby farm was hit pretty bad by the flood. They could really use some basic construction. Okay, so the farm, right? Delivered to farm. Bricks. Wooden planks. And metal beams. Okay, this is a pretty large... Uh, deal, but let's do accept because then we can go to the objects and we can see which of the things we have the things we need. So, uh, semi flat bit, flat bit semi trailer has one construction, no, it has bricks. This is bricks, yeah, yeah, bricks. So it has one bricks, it has three service materials, if I'm not mistaken, but that's not something I use, and one pipe or something, I guess, turbine, I don't know. Uh, so let's not touch that, we can totally, especially not if we're doing a partial load of bricks. Um, and this scout flatbed has two bricks here, but if we're reaching that point, I mean, I, I don't care, might as well just get bricks from the warehouse here. Um, so yeah, warehouse and town storage. Town storage for the metal beams, warehouse for... Actually, the warehouse has metal beams as well, we have metal beams... Uh, what's this? Store, uh, service materials? Uh, and I know what's this. And bricks. So this has more or less... If I have a... F well, I don't really want to use a trailer, but I may want to pick up a trailer though. Is there a trailer here that I can use? Sideboard trailer. Yeah, you can totally use a sideboard trailer for this. Um, so you can pick up the two bricks. Yeah, for sure we can't pick up the metal, the, sorry, the wooden planks, the wooden planks is a separate, uh, the separate pickup. Um, I think we should, we can uh, spend a bit of time now, we still have a fair bit on the clock, and see if we can, at the very least, pick up the planks and deliver them uh, next episode. But yeah, let, let's uh, head out to pick up those planks, if we... I mean, it's a standard two slot, right? Wooden planks, right? Wooden planks, yeah. I think wooden planks are one each, so I have two... S <gasps> oh, I don't have any slots in the car. Uh, yeah, I don't have any slots uh, because I don't have the flatbed. So I have to actually uh, recover this. Go to customize. I know why it, why it starts an engine every time. And pick up the flatbed for this. That actually gives us two slots available. And... Yeah, actually, you know what, guys? Yeah, given the fact that we should head over there, let's uh, postpone this to the next episode. And see if we can do this entire... Um, its entire thing in one go next time. So picking up the uh, wooden planks, one road, and then getting the bricks and the metal uh, metal beams over here with the cyborg trailer. That's going to be a huge haul, uh, and taking it all the way up to the um, to the farm, which is going to be entirely horrible because we're ha we're going to have to cross this horribly muddy road, which we hate. Anyways. Um, this was me. Uh, if you like this video, the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. That helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.